Welcome back to Living 808. If you want to make more money through real estate, then listen up because in today's Living Akamai segment, we're teaching you how to take your current investment property to buy another investment property. For that, we have our guest, Kei Mokagawa, with all the details. Welcome back to Living 808. It is time for our Living Akamai segment. And of course, for that, we bring in Kei Mukaigawa of Ingo and Bokers. Aloha. Hi, Kelly. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Now, you always share really great tips. And I'm excited to talk about the topic today because you've, of course, shared that the real estate market has limited inventory. But there are some strategies that could be useful for our viewers, right? Yes. And this limited inventory is definitely a problem for people doing a 1031 tax deferred exchange, which is where you sell your investment property to buy another investment property. The challenge is finding and closing on that replacement property when there's not much to choose from and you have others competing for the same properties. And plus, you've got such a short window to make all of this happen. Because of this, some may sell first and think that they can start the selling process of their replacement home when they find that new property. Imagine finding a nice three-bedroom single-family home in Palolo. Rents are better than what you're getting now, and it's near your family, and you can see yourself possibly living there one day. The asking price is one and a half million dollars, and you want to sell your current investment property and exchange it for this one. The selling realtor probably has multiple offers and may not wait for your property to sell. Do you just give up? Well, you may not have to. That's right. You might not have to. Okay, so what could the buyers do? They may be able to do a reverse 1031 tax deferred exchange. Remember, a standard 1031 exchange is a great tool because you can sell your current rental property or what we call the relinquished property and you can roll over the profit into a new investment property. All the capital gains is now deferred. In a reverse 1031 exchange, it allows the buyer to purchase the new or replacement property first and then have six months to sell their existing rental property. Now, you do need a source of funds temporarily to complete the purchase, but when you sell your current rental, the funds are reimbursed. The money needed does not have to be the full purchase price, and you can actually get a regular mortgage for the difference. That's awesome stuff. And you're getting basically the ex exact same benefits as the 1031 exchange, but you can get that property right now. Exactly, right. You have a chance at purchasing something now, even if you haven't sold your existing property. There's a lot of moving parts in a reverse 1031 exchange and everyone involved needs to be experienced with this type of transaction. But to recap, okay, so you purchase your new or replacement property first. You do need to get some cash to complete the purchase, but you'd pay those funds back once you sell your investment rental. It can be your own cash, it can be savings, a line of credit, or maybe help from a family member. If the reverse 1031 exchange is carried out properly, you will benefit by deferring all the capital gains taxes and rolling it into the new investment, even if you purchased it first. Wow. And a few years later, let's say you decide to move into that Palolo property. Mm -hmm. You can reclassify that property as a primary residence, which comes with additional owner-occupant tax benefits. Oh, okay, so it is a little bit complicated, but I feel like you always seem to make things a little bit uncomplicated. So thanks for breaking that down. Thanks, Kelly. I often hear the timing is everything and it's too bad I missed the boat. Mm. Well, I'm hoping that by sharing some of these things, people will understand that the options available can provide a strategy that can make up for that missed timing mm -hmm. and you can still accomplish these goals. Exactly, and breaking down these great things, 1031 exchange, the reverse as well, I mean, I think it really opens people's minds and realize that they could be a part of it as well. It Very gives cool. them some options, so thank yeah. you. That's great, and I mean, I'm sure you're covering a lot of these topics, but specifically for tax deferred exchanges, are you covering those in your upcoming seminars? We do, we cover them. If they have any questions or would like to register, they can give us a call at 808-725-2000. We appreciate you letting us be here, you know, letting Engel and Volkers Honolulu simplify your life and, and sharing these things with you guys. Yes, always such great tips from you. Thanks so much, Kay.